Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our Volvo S60. Um, this one came into me last week as a part exchange. Um, did the deal blind really, so I wasn't quite sure what to expect with this, but it's turned out to be better than I expected. Um, the term I already used a few years ago is uh, previous enthusiast owner. Um, it's really, really clean and tidy. There's some sort of subtle modifications here and there updates to keep it still looking quite OEM um, performance tyres all round and everything it's you know it's a nice looked after car full history as well all stamped up in the book um, I'll take you around and show you everything I can see now I'm not a you know, big egg on Volvo so I'm not sure what is standard and what's not but there's a huge amount of spec some of which is definitely aftermarket but I'll go around show you everything that I can see and then you can make obviously your own mind up I'll find the name for the colour code. It's silver, but it's very dark, bordering on grey. So there will be there will be a name for that, and I shall put it on there. Uh, headlight washers. We've got some aftermarket LED running lights down there. Our design badge in the grille. Front parking sensors. A front camera here, which I cannot work out how to access. I've been through the menu, so that may be defunct, but. I will leave it there just in case it does work and you can work out how to do it. Alloy wheels we have got and they are 18 inch. They're holding up really well for the age. They're the two-tone sort of grey in the background, silver on the front. A uh, few little marks here and there but nothing excessive. Uh, Goodyear Eagle F1 tyres, so expensive tyres. It's a matching set all round. Um, chrome mirror caps. These are power folding with the indicators built in. I'll demo the power folding later on. Bodywork, really clean and tidy. A um, couple of places where I'm just going to do some touch-ins here and there. I'll point those out as we go along, but the fundamentals are all there. The gaps are all good. The colour match is all good, and it's HPI clear. And there's another one of the wheels. I'll just linger on each wheel for a second. I don't think there's any major marks to point out, but I'll hold it over there, and then obviously you can have a look for yourself. Rear parking sensors. I think these LED lights down here are aftermarket. The actual clusters themselves are LED. As you can see, it looks like it's flickering on the video, but in, obviously in real life it's not. Um, those are badges here. Definitely don't all actually pertain to the car because I know it's not all wheel drive. And Polestar, I believe, is like the electric division of Volvo, isn't it? So they're a bit wild, but I'm leaving them on there because everything's personal taste, isn't it? You might like them. Uh, there's a couple of touch-ins that I'm going to do on the boot lid. Obviously privacy glass all throughout. Reverse camera there, that one does work. It does sort of jitter a little bit. I'll, um, I'll show them when we get inside. 12 volt point tucked away down here. Now obviously it would have come with a tire inflation kit, but the previous owner has put in this space saver spare wheel with some tools. Um, I prefer the practicality of a space saver spare wheel myself, but obviously it does leave that rising up a bit above where it should so I'm going to leave that in there you can make the choice the kits are available for like 20 pound from the motor factors the inflation kit so if you want to go back to that you can and have a level boot or you can have that and maybe put it on top of there I don't know again all matters of personal taste isn't it That's a little, yeah, is that a dent there or is that part of, I think that's a little dent there. Yeah, just gonna double check the other side to make sure it's not a line in the bodywork. No, it's not. Little two shallow dents right on top of each other, going like that. Tilt and slide glass sunroof, as you can see there, shark fin aerial. The rest of the roof is all good. million and one things up here. It's got quite a lane departure and all that sort of stuff. So I'll linger over that and you can see what's what. No big noticeable chips or anything in the windscreen though. Bonnet looks good, relatively free of stone chips as well. 
Uh, one little scratch there that I think that majority of that would polish out. And then it looks like someone's got a little bit enthusiastic here trying to perhaps polish out a scratch with the wrong thing. I'll have a go over that again because I'm, I'm pretty certain that would improve too. Okay, we'll have a look inside now, starting up the back. That's blocked over because it's got the power child locks as opposed to the manual ones. Electric windows. Uh, interesting mix of cloth um, and two different types of leather. This sort of has a texture to it, ribbed almost, and that's smooth. That goes all the way through there, three headrests. You've got access through to the boot there for carrying longer items. If you're not using the middle seat, you've got this fold down armrest with storage and cup holders. You've got your isofix points as well, of course, for the two outer seats. Really decent leg room. And you've got a 12 volt point there as well. Gray headlining, as in dark gray. And to the other side where we shall show you from another angle. Obviously it's all much the same, but nice to get a, an impression of everything. Seats are really, really nice condition. You've got some IC airbags up there as well, on both sides of course. And vents just tucked away up here. Onwards to the front. Electric windows in the front as well of course. Volvo branded kick plates, height adjustment on both sides. The front seats have the R Design logo embossed in. Really neat looking seats. You can disable the front airbag here if you wish. In here is the owner's manual and all the other bits and bobs. I've included a picture of that spread out on the seat so you can see exactly what's there. And you've got these little storage pouches on the front too. Yeah. side impact protection system down there as well. Right, let's head around to the driver's side where we'll finish off. Door locking, mirrors, you press the two together to fold them, like that. And they fold out again like that. That's your blind spot warning system. Electric windows all round, like I say, power, child locks and window locks are combined together there. Driver's seat, look at that. The, the, the bolster is holding up so well. A couple of tiny little bits of fraying to the stitch in there, but for the age and mileage, I think that's, that's really good. Height adjustment as well, again, on this side. Alloy pedals, electric handbrake, lights. All the Volvos are standard are auto lights, aren't they? Because even when they're off, it does the side lights, tailgate release, petrol cap release, all that sort of stuff there. I'm going to hop in to show you the rest. There we are. There's the mileage, 108,554, which for the year and being a diesel, pretty decent, I think. Steering wheel has this really nice soft leather wrap to it. I think this is aftermarket, but it is done really well. It's not like... The average sort of thing it doesn't feel like a, a steering wheel cover in the slightest uh, cruise control over this side audio over this side it does have the speech module i'll just do that now while we're over the steering wheel cancel and i put i don't know i can't no, like i say no volvo expert but this system all feels much newer than the car so whether it was just really high spec at the time or someone's retrofitted a newer system but I mean it all works flawlessly it's, it's integrated it's it works with all the steering wheel controls and everything but I did notice some little marks there that where someone's had this bit of plastic I can touch that one in make that look a bit nicer but these here I think someone's had this out to fit a replacement screen because even the resolution and everything is well beyond most cars of this age uh, back to where we were anyway our design logo on the steering wheel You've got your wipers over this side. You've got your indicators and onboard computer on that side. Two keys, both original Volvo ones. 
start and stop the engine there. Uh, over to the screen that we've been talking about, I'll try and get a decent angle on that for you. I'll still go through the menu, so. Right, DAB radio, which I'm gonna turn down so we don't get a copyright thing. And now if you've already seen, I click the media button, it's those ones there. Telephone, you link your Bluetooth up there. You can see the climate control information down the bottom on that little gray bar as well for your heated seats and everything. If I spring that into action, look, you can see that. All visualizers there. Click the camera button here. Like I say, a little bit of a, a jitter to the rear view camera. It's working, but it does that. I'm not getting involved in, obviously, looking at things as minor as that on a car of this age. So we're just letting you know about it. I'm not saying I'm going to fix it. It's just a quirk of the vehicle. Obviously, your parking sensors, if we go back to that screen, you see there, pop it in reverse. They spring into action. And you can see a visual representation for the front rear sensors on there as well. Single slot CD with your heat events. Heated seats here and here with dual zone climate control. This is for your audio, this is for your menus. That was the shortcut buttons I was using just around the top. You can do all the aircon stuff manually as well. And then down here we have this is I can believe some sort of intelligent cruise control type system, economy driving, lane guidance, and uh, turn your parking sensors off there. That I think is aftermarket as well, but again tasteful. Um, six speed manual shifter. In here is cup holders and 12 volt points. Under this armrest is auxiliary inputs. There's further airbags up there. Illuminated vanity mirrors, interior lighting, that's the sunroof controls. And I don't think that's an auto dimming rear view mirror, but I always find it difficult to tell. Uh, the sunroof is here. So that goes all the way back like that. All the way forwards. The tilt like I had it when I was going around the car. And then just a manual blind if you don't want the sun coming in. Just, just gonna close that up now. Once I work out how to do it, that's it. There we are. And that's everything I can see on the car. Um, quite interesting one for a part exchange of this sort of value, I think. Lovely history, enthusiast owned. Definitely forgot to show you something which I've just remembered now. Under here, try and get the camera down there so you can see it, is this little thing which is a tuning box by the seams of things. There's an instruction manual in there for it. Um, it seems you can sort of switch that on and off as you want to. Um, Again, no expertise in that sort of thing, but all the instructions are there, so it should be nice and simple to use if you want to use that thing. And if you don't, obviously it's optional. Right, so that is everything I can see on the car. If I've missed something, please do give us a call and I will pop out and check for you straight away. Um, I will upload as many pictures as Auto Trader allows of the interior, exterior and paperwork. Along with this video, I'm trying to give you the experience of viewing the car without having to down to the site basically if you want to keep that going we quite happily do remote business so you can phone us up with a small deposit secure the vehicle we bring it over to you and then you pay the balance once you're happy i can explain that in greater detail if you want to call of course um what was the other thing i was going to say right in terms of yeah if you don't want to do that here's the main road car site this is us border of fairham and gosport loads and loads of stuff to look at so if you're browsing you can just pop down any time um, however, if there's a particular car, presumably this one, that you want to get inside, start the engine, get a feel for, please, please do phone ahead and make an appointment. We're a small two-man business, and even during the advertised opening hours, we can be off-site for long periods of time. So if you phoned ahead, though, we can guarantee that someone will be here to accommodate you. And that is everything I've got to say. So thank you very much for watching.